Hey, it's Midnight Raven, and today I thought we'd do a video with a slight difference. I have looked at Kickstarter campaigns and projects. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am the Midnight Raven. Today I want to look at Kickstarter projects. So if you have sat there one day and thought, you know what, I have a brilliant idea that could be made into something, but you just don't have the funds. Well, if you have a computer or a laptop, then you go to Kickstarter, where you basically show people your idea, and then if you look on the side here, people can pledge to have your thing actually built and invest in it, which I think is kind of cool. So we're going to have a look at some today. The first one we're going to look at is one that caught my eye as soon as I went on the page. And this is the Smoky Skull Craft Cocktail Smoker. They already have a ton of money to their campaign, £19,595. Their goal was 2000 and they've got 325 backers. So let's take a look at the video. The smoky stuff. The easiest and most stylish way to smoke a cocktail. Let's start with the smoky taste. Okay. Smoky cocktail. Wow. Look at that. Now that is definitely, that is definitely a showstopper. If you are having a dinner party or Halloween, I mean, look at that. Smoky skull. Okay, so. The concept this is that it's the smoky taste added to your home bar. Yeah. Okay. So we create the smoky cast for our love of craft cocktails and smoked. I love their little banner. Smoky cocktails, cocktail diffuser. I think it's kind of cool. I think it's a kind of cool idea. I just love the whole setting a skull on fire on, on, on your home bar, if I'm honest. Um, I thought it was a cool one. Okay, so let's go back and we'll see what else we can find. So obviously if you go to Kickstarter, you will see a bunch of different sections. I was looking in craft projects because I think so far this year, you've probably spent so much time at home and probably a lot of people have had so many ideas um, <laughs> on stuff. Um, some of them are weirder than others. This one caught my eye. Unfortunately, there's no video. But this was the Palozoic Pal. He has £16,042 towards his 5,000 goal. So he, 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 he got his goal. So these are sea scorpion plushies. The new Palozoic Pal. Now look at him. Any adorable... Um, so the story I'm guessing behind this is um, basically these are it's easy to find prehistoric dinosaurs, mammoths. But what about the Paleozoic Pal? So <laughs> they have this whole section showing you about its history and everything and how cool it is. I mean, it shows you its body and its anatomy, that it swims and paddles. Would a kid love this? Look, they've even made a book that goes with it so you can, like, read your bedtime story with the little animal. Um, I think it's kind of cool. And for pledging different amounts, you, you get different amounts of money. Um, so I think, I mean, yes, it looks a bit weird, but the T-shirt looks cool, though. I'm not so sure about the plushie, but his T-shirt idea and the necklaces and everything of the animals, I think is kind of cool. This one caught my eye because of the plushie. When I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I need one of these. I don't know how I get it, but I need one. I don't know about you, but he, he jumped out at me when scrolling through the Kickstarters. Um, there were quite a few that jumped out at me, if I'm honest. Um, where was the next one? We have to go down a bit more. I was going to show you one, but I think I might get into trouble because of the content. <laughs> Who wants to get in trouble on YouTube? Um, but moving on down, I don't know if I can find the other one. 
here planet larkin this was another one that caught my eye so they're looking for a pledge of 72 pound and they actually hit their goal this is planet larkin um this is a store for weird and unusual i don't doubt that so um this is basically the project here i'm guessing um specializes in weird and unusual it doesn't give a lot away and they've got donations so i recently started crocheting a month ago having to get started with supplies the unique safety eyes glow in the dark and the to complete the voodoo dog project so basically she wanted to do a voodoo dog project she got the money for it happy days but that that looks scary um not a great project but there are tons and tons of projects you could spend all day just looking at projects on here um let's have a look the thing is um they're on here for a while and i don't know what happens a bit think you have like a 30-day limit to reach your title um and then if not i don't know what happens if i'm honest um these are kind of cool these little peeps learning binders so these are activity sheets and materials for all levels of kids with special needs um so let's take a look this is a new thing that's come Hi, up my name is rachel creator of little peeps learning binders i create educational personalized activity sheets and materials for children every level i also create rewards how cool is that so you get a really cool picture and you get your name on it. I wonder if the pictures are customizable to kind of what your child looks like, maybe. That's kind of cool. So it's to make educational products basically from home. So this is a really cool product. She basically just wants the ability to make what she already makes at home that's selling in quicker time. I think that's a really cool idea. Um, she doesn't have any backers yet, and she's only trying to get um, £2,542. I think that's a cool little project. So I think that's a cool one. Little Peeps Learning. I think it's a cool idea. It's a, it's a really unique way to um have it so that it's it's specially for your child i do i do like the idea of that where you can customize um and basically you know it's not easy starting up a business no one ever said it would or everyone would have one um that would be quite obvious everyone would have a business if it was that easy um zodiac series pins let's have a look at this one so i used to collect pins all the time hard enamel pins based on k-pop idols and western zodiac okay okay so the intro is that she's a bi artist living in rural victoria the pins are two inches tall um so she's basically trying to make pins based on different characters from anime and that kind of thing mm, there are seven designs in total so it's not really a massive collection and in all honesty they're just men i don't know about this one it seems a bit i mean people have pledged mind you 
but to me i'm not really feeling it see the thing is kickstarters can be hit or miss you're gonna win some you're gonna lose some okay cross stitch halloween okay now we're talking halloween hello so these are cross stitch selection including ada fabric and needle minders okay so this is to be able to stitch um halloween items i'm guessing i wish they had videos so each piece of fabric is a 14 ada count which is about the norm um and you basically would make um halloween ones so these would be kind of the needle minders designs and she's basically asking for a donation of 1274 pounds and this is to make the packs i'm guessing so the fabric and everything so each needle one will be made from resin will no longer be larger than this the magnets will attach to the back of the needle mine to make it allow it to be attached to your stitching. Okay. Hmm. So basically it attaches to your needle. So basically you don't lose your needle. So no more sitting on it. I mean, it's kind of cool. It's not amazing, but I have to say sometimes, you know, you could put it in a needle cushion though, which already do exist. Um, so you have a little cushion made of fabric and you just stick your needle into the top of it. Um, you can always do that. Um, okay. Let's see. We'll just look at one more so that we can find. But there are so many on here. You could spend literally all day just looking for stuff. And obviously you can specify if you want to look at food or crafts or tech or whatever you want to look at and you can basically um narrow it down a bit more but um yeah i mean it's a good way if you want to you know start a little project you want to get you know okay now this one's cool so we're not on christmas yet but we just had halloween so let's give christmas a go so Kramp krampus the christmas devil soap and ornaments the alpine counterpart to saint nicholas available as so so back has pledged two thousand five hundred eighty one pound to help this project this was one that had already been completed they had 60 backers i'm guessing they they got their money um i'm guessing they got their money um and they're now making them i assume so these were basically grampuses um or krampus if you want to call him into tree hangers Oh, how cool is this? If you know, like, German folklore and all that, Krampus features quite heavily. Um, and at Christmas, they parade the streets. And it says that they have a website. So I wonder if the Krampuses actually... We're working on a website at the minute, check vaccine. So they've got the funding. Um, and they've had the funding for a while, but they haven't actually made a website. Um, which is kind of weird. But it looks like only ships to the united states ah oh, that's a shame but they did get pledges though which is kind of cool and i do love krampus so if you want to see more of these give us a big thumbs up this was just a little bit of a taste of what's on kickstarter there are tons of kickstarter campaigns like i said you've got everything from food drink crafts um tech uh basically you can literally you've got art and design and food and publishing and there's loads in each of them so depending on if you're looking to start something yourself or maybe a project each to their own but if you want to like and subscribe and give me a big thumbs up that would be awesome if you want to check me out on instagram i'm there as well this was just a little bit of a fun if you want to see more of these comment down below and i might do a second video or i might just leave it as a one-off but i like kickstart i think it's fun to see what crazy ideas people have and i think the funnest one today was the paleo um plushie i think that was probably my favorite one but like subscribe big thumbs up and i will see you for another video very soon take care and thanks for watching love you all bye guys